Well, today's the day. No, it's not a travel day, but this is the day that we are picking up our Montana high country. So uh, it's like 1030 in the morning right now. We're going to do the final touches of packing things up. We need to be over at Tierra by one o'clock. I'm probably going to be there early. I'm just too excited not to be. And we're going to pick it up from there. So you see the process of what it takes to move from one rig to another part of it and uh, final paperwork and stuff that we need to do to get this thing in our possession. We'll be coming back here to Elkhart Campground um, and we'll talk more about that right after this. Yeah, so we're coming back to Elkhart Campground. We're not coming back to this site. Uh, I figured this site might not be the best place for a longer rig. We've got these rocks in the way as we pull out. So I gotta make kind of a sharp turn and we got a fire ring right over here. So the best I could figure, we're gonna be okay with the cougar, but another five feet might be, might make this a little tight. So um, I may have to jockey a little bit to get the cougar out. So we uh, got a bigger site and a better site over on the other side of the campground. So we're gonna be moving there. So when we come back with the uh, high country, so we are saying goodbye to cougar ownership and saying hello to high country ownership and still staying in the Keystone family. So that's it. So this is it. Yep. We're heading for our surprise. Well, then we already know right. the surprise. That oh, was we last did. week. Oh, that was last week? This we did is the surprise? This is the pick it up, get the sign. All right, here we go. Yeah, the surprise was last week. And this is the pickup. And, and this guy's transfer. turning in. Yes. Get a picture of the sign, but okay, go very, very slowly. Oh, I, am. I am. These <laughs> pot holes. Tierra, Team Montana, we love you guys. Fix the Fill potholes. In, fill in the holes. <laughs> A few Hold tons on. of sand would do it. Hold on, I gotta get the Team Montana. I can't believe this is really happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this I is really, this really happening. Too. I just love their building. I, I think their building is fantastic. You should pull in front of the office, office and he'll yeah. lead us around to where we need to go. Yeah. Go ahead and pull in front of these rigs. Oh, there's plenty of room to get this. Yeah. I'm just going to stop it here. Okay. Congratulations on your three. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right. And we have some keys for you, but what we just realized, I've never done a review. Yeah, there's an extra CA751 extra gray key that is hiding wait, in the rig and we'll find it. <laughs> we'll find it before we leave. Casey. No problem. No problem. All right, yeah. Hey, Casey. <laughs> T-shirt contest. Okay, 
it is pouring down rain. You might wonder, where the heck is he? I am inside the storage compartment, trying to avoid getting soaked. And this is my point of view. It is absolutely pouring down. Yeah, the storage unit actually is really pretty comfortable considering how hard it's raining. And I am, I am soaked through. I am absolutely soaked through. And I still got so much to do. Man, I, I don't even know if it's gonna let up soon. I gotta check the weather. Check the Doppler and see when it's gonna go away. If it's gonna go away. You can hear the thunder back there. It's cracking right around us too. All right. Break time over. <laughs> Mind you, the last few days, last week, it's been absolutely gorgeous weather. And right when we start moving, it does this. Oh. All right. You know what? I think this is all you're gonna get to see for now. Bye-bye. Day two. <laughs> Uh, by the way, did you? I don't think you noticed because I shut the camera off. It stopped raining as we had to stop and pull out. And I feel some drops now. It hasn't been raining all morning. As you can see on the windshield, it's starting. So yeah, you want to place bets? <laughs> so we're going to continue our moving. So as you can see in the back, we are loaded to the gills. That's all our pantry and under the couch and... Few other things. Few other things. The back of the truck, the bed is full of junk. We got to get all this unloaded though before we head out tomorrow. You don't want to drive with this? Saying goodbye to our cougar. It served us well. <laughs> Onward and upward. Onward. So we're going to say goodbye to the Team Montana people. Yeah. And we'll probably do one more thing back at the, the new high country. Guinevere is her name. Guinevere. And we'll close out there. So All we'll right. see you in just a few minutes. Bye. Getting ready to go back. We got one more day to pack stuff up. Mm -hmm. But we could not miss out one oh, more trip to Yoder's. <laughs> yeah, I had to get more stuff at Yoder's. Did you get cheese? No, I didn't. No get cheese. Any. No, I we got meats and bacon and oh, the yeah. only place I can find buffalo steaks. Yeah. Which is amazing. So, I love that. Got a new griddle that'll be getting its workout now. Yeah. Here we go. And I get to hear my clippity cloppities and watch. Yeah, them. we got the Amish buggies around. Oh, oh are they leaving or is that horse he's, just? Yeah, he's upset. trying to back him up. We got uh, horsey's not cooperating. Horsey not happy. Horsey not happy. Yep. So, anyways, I'm gonna shut the camera off. We're heading home. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead and put home back in. Mm. Just have to hit home. Mm. Okay. Um, Alrighty. Like I said before, we'll finish this up in the rig probably tomorrow as we're putting stuff away. So last of the getting organized. Stay tuned though. We will have a grand tour. Please drive to highlighted route. Once we get everything put away. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So all right, back to the rig. Well, I hope you can see me okay. It is kind of dark out here. It's about 7:20 in the morning. It is overcast, so that makes it worse. But uh, yeah, our adventure of moving into the Montana High Country 385 BR. The stage one of getting moved in and settled is done. Didn't show you a whole lot of video of the settling in part. But uh, to be honest, <laughs> a lot of work. I can't believe how much stuff got accumulated in that little cougar. But uh, I do have some photos, so we can be showing you some great organizational, mad organizational skills. Also, Dawn climbing around up in the attic, which is basically a bunk, but for us it's an attic, and she's uh, getting stuff organized up there. And uh, yeah, we'll have a grand review of the entire thing coming down the road probably in a month or so. Once we get settled in, we got a few things we want to do and take care of first, and then once we have it where we want it, we will we will do a grand tour. Yes. So, uh, don't know what else to say about it other than we have a very long drive day today because we were stuck here in Indiana for so long. The next video you'll see after this will probably probably be um, returning back to our summer travels. Uh, I think I left off just before we got to Wisconsin Dells, so you'll see the Dells. Uh, or it could be that we're going to be jumping into some um, 
new 2024 floor plans of some of the new keystones we got a chance to sneak peek so one or the other something's coming up next uh and then uh, we'll be back here leaving here again down the road as we continue our travels uh heading back to arizona so uh that's it thumbs up make sure you hit that subscription bell thumbs up for good measure uh what else do we say at this point uh don is working on instagram uh and facebook when she gets the chance and uh the website the links work anyway so you can always go to the website if you want to www.arodacamelot.com and i'll probably be updating that real soon now that we're in a new rig and have new things to do so that's it until next time safe travels and we'll see you on the road